Welcome to Dust Geek. There is this amazing program called Pulse Effects out there that apparently people knew about this. I didn't know about this. Nobody was telling me about this fantastic program, but it's been out there and it's just, it's really helped me to be able to create some really unique things that I've been wanting to do with the review of specifically a Corsair gaming headset that I got my hands on. This video is kind of the pre-video to that Corsair gaming headset review because a lot of people get confused. Is there a need for a gaming headset or do I just use regular music headset and is it just as good? And we're going to get into that in the next video. But first we have to be able to get Linux up to speed with other operating systems when it comes to sound, specifically gaming sound, 3D sound. Now Pulse Effects can do a lot of things. You can see once you install it, which it's likely available in your software repository. It's a flat pack, uh, for instance, inside of the Fedora software store. If you go in here, once you've installed it, you'll see that there's a speaker icon. These are things that will affect your speaker, like adding bass enhancers in there, compressors, auto gains. We can also mess with our microphone as well here. And you can see I can turn this on or switch it off and do a bypass on the entire thing. I can load different profiles up in here as well. For instance, if I have a podcasting profile, I can load a nothing profile, which is basically like a bypass here, but you can see I've created my own spatial profile as well as loaded other profiles out there. And if you want to install the profile that I'm going to show you in this tutorial, you can simply just go import presets and then move that JSON file you download from my GitHub and you can utilize that and play with it and make it to your liking. Because depending on your headphones, it may sound too loud. It may sound too uh, staticky, but again, for the review I'm doing, it's kind of perfect. So when you're in OBS, for instance, you're going to have desktop audio that you're recording as well as your mic. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on for the mic and we're under mic here. And I'm just going to show you some of the capabilities. We'll go into and add some reverberation to my voice here and we can turn that off and we can add uh, we can go into our maximizer stereo tools. We can add compression to my voice here, multi-band compression and change some of the inputs and outputs. So this essentially is allowing you to have a full software instead of having to have the hardware like a DBX-286S, a full software suite at your fingertips to allow you to add things like gating and deessers and these tools for free as an open source project here for these studio plugins. Just absolutely amazing what Pulse Effects can do. But this also allows us to enhance our music and our listening experience in Linux as well, whether watching movies, listening to music or anything. So I really recommend everybody download this. And if you get settings you just don't like, just bypass or create a nothing profile where everything's unchecked. Because you'll notice as I load different profiles here, like bass boosted, this is automatically going to check a bunch of different boxes. So you'll know exactly what bass boosted is actually doing with your equalizer and the different settings here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play some gunfire from a game. And what I want you to listen for is, again, we're not looking for that movie experience where we get that nice, you know, top gun jet flyby experience where you feel it in your bones. In the game, when we're dealing with especially a first person shooter, you may want that for like an RPG and things. We want to be able to hear where the gunfire is coming from. Is somebody sneaking up behind us? We need to be able to understand that spatial awareness. And again, in other operating systems like Windows, they have, I think it's called Sonic Sound Setting, which attempts, attempts to use software to create that 3D surround sound effect. You have DTS and Dolby as well, which you have to pay for if you want to get those. But we can create something, hopefully, what I've created here is something that kind of gets us pretty close to that. And then maybe with the community help, because this file I have is out there on GitHub, we can get it even sweeter there. So let's check out what we've done. I'm going to go ahead and remove and just do nothing here so we can start with. And yes, it's going to be annoying gunfire, but just bear with me. This pulse effects is so cool and I'm just learning it. So feel free to leave comments uh, down below some other cool things or profiles that you've created and things that the community can check out because I just love this thing. I love that we have a software equalizer that we can utilize in Linux like this. All right, so here I'm going to play some sounds with nothing. Here we go.
All right, I'm going to go back to around that same point again. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do base enhancing plus perfect EQ. Again, these are profiles others have created. Don't think they were creating it for first person shooters. So just keep that in mind. But let's listen. Okay, so you get the idea behind that. And then let's go ahead and do perfect EQ. So this one, you know, you don't have that base boosting or anything else. It should be pretty decent. Uh, probably the closest one out of the pre-made. I'm going to go ahead and go back to base boosted. I'm going to switch to perfect EQ and base boosted. And now let's just do uh, perfect EQ. and just boosted. Now, let's do the DOS Geek spatial sound profile that I created and see what you think of this one here. We'll go back again and let me load it. Obviously more tinny sound, but more open air sound as well. So it's, to me, it allows me to hear what's going on and where that gunfire was coming from a lot more with that DOS Geek spatial sound. I'm going to let it play for a little bit and then we will go back to nothing. You hear that helicopter in there. That again, but this is with nothing. You can still hear where it's coming from, but I feel like with the spatial sound effect that we added, it allows you to tune in to where that sound is. You're more tuned in to the sound than when it's kind of muffled behind all of the other sounds and things going on in the game. It's more airy and open. Maybe it would help in a first-person shooter. I'm not a professional. I don't know. Some people may hate it or really like it. But that has been the work that I've been playing with when it comes to pulse effects. But obviously, there are so many amazing things that you can do with this tool and have fun with. And I just had to share it with everybody because it's going to be a big part of the next review I'm going to do for Corsair Gaming Headset. And I think it's amazing we have tools like this that the open source community goes out there and creates so that we can hopefully be able to recreate this proprietary stuff out there with the spatial sound and things as close as we can. Again, I'm nowhere close to nailing it with this profile, but I think it's a good start. I think we're close to something there. Anyways, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Maybe you can do some really good enhancements to that as a starting profile. Fork it, do whatever you want. I want to take a moment to thank Bitwarden for continuing to sponsor this channel and the entire Destination Linux network. Look, if you're not using Bitwarden, if you're not using a password manager, you're definitely taking a huge risk. And Bitwarden, not only is it open source, not only do they do regular code audits, but they hire other companies to come in and do those code audits as well. They're just an amazing company. They are out there supporting open source projects. They are out there supporting open source. But Bitwarden will work on any operating system out there and along with mobile applications and things as well. It's just a great service. And for $10 a year, if you go to bitwarden.com slash DLN, that's per year for $10, you can get your premium. You can show your support for them. Thank them 
for supporting the Destination Linux Network. And that's it. Leave your comments below. And until next time, get out there and fill your brains with lots of sound effects, pulse effects. You got to go get it. Do it. Download it. Now. Now. Go click it. Click your software. I'm watching you. Click your software store. Open it up. Type in pulse effects. And down it's not in your software store. Well, you should probably be on Fedora then.